Got some Raz here and some somber gameplay. What is he doing? Look at this kid. He's in his hack menu. He's literally in his hack menu. Oh my God. I'm able to get out here. That is brutal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, he jumps. This is like guerrilla warfare out here just with aimbot and Sombra. Like, yo, what's going on today, guys? It is Sam, better known as Samito. Welcome back to my channel today for a hacker hunt that we have not done in a long time. Today, we've got, uh, coming from Tyke Show in my Discord, where he submitted this uh, replay code. He says that Mickey is hacking on McCree slash Sombra, and I don't think we've ever seen a Sombra actually cheat before. So it would be interesting to see that. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're back from, like, I got a lot of my work done for the side project, so I have time to make some videos, and I figured, why not? Why not get back in the groove a little bit here? So... I appreciate you guys, and let's get right into the action. Make sure you leave a comment down below to uh, make me laugh, and I will feature it in the next video, as well as I'm razzing up. Code Smito down in the description. All right, let's get it. So, Mickey on the McCree. Mm. Right-clicking oxygen molecules. Very effective, all right? As he's going to be looking for the Hanzo. Okay. So, the way he looked up at that Hanzo was definitely a little weird. He kind of knew where he was before he peeked. He's going to stun the Doom, not right-click the Doom. So, that kind of indicates that he does not really know how to play McCree. Because when you're going up against the Doom, you want to go for the Fan the Hammers. It's the only way you can actually kill him, right? So, could be low rank. He's going to be flanking now. He's hitting every shot. Definitely sus. Goes for the stun. Doesn't seem to know what he's doing with stuns, but very good with headshots. It definitely kind of sus, just because we know we're looking for it. But... We'll see. So now he's looking for the Doomfist up above him. Doomfist is going to get... He right okay, so this guy clearly does not have control over his hacks, right? That's a really common thing that you see with hackers in a lot of games. Like, they're trying to adjust to a higher level of play, and they end up spamming a lot of buttons because there's, like, a big hack UI on their screen or something like that where they're not really familiar with everything, so they get a little confused and they look a little lost, right? This guy definitely has that, so he's looking for the Hanzo here. Going to miss a couple shots, get a little headshot right there. He's got the High Noon ready. One minute on the build rate, so he gets another headshot. I, I honestly, my hunch, my hunch is going to tell me that he's cheating. I'm going to get a bunch of shots on the Doom. His aim is pretty perfect. Yeah, this guy's got to be cheating. I'm pretty, oh, big shatter coming out. Zarya goes down, finishes off with the high noon, looks for the Ana. Gets pinned into the wall by Saint. Hacks can't save you from that. Again, I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt, guys. Don't worry. He's going to get that benefit of the doubt. But the way he's moving, level 28 account, like, those are all the biggest red flags that we're used to seeing. Now, I want to see him swap to the Sombra because I feel like that's going to be, like, when a hacker tries to play Genji and he just gets really, really ugly. I'm sure that you guys all have seen it yourselves. But, all right. Window comes out. Grab Dragon comes out. Okay, well, the, the Ryan is just going to stand in the grab. The Bap's not going to use ML. As this guy's going to be waiting. He's going to shatter. Yeah, oh, he's, he walks into the shatter, gets the kill onto the Ryan. Nice stun on the Bap. Going to get the nice headshot on him, too. Like, I can't say 100%, but I think it's pretty likely that this guy is cheating, all right? So, he's on is kind of pinned down over there. Gets headshot by the Hanzo. You know, Team 2 is actually playing pretty well. I think it would be really useful to know what rank this was in, because this could be, like, a really high SR McCree, but... The odds are it's not, and if he's that high SR in a brand new account, usually that's a little sus. As he's like, look, he's running into walls and stuff. Like, I don't know. He's clearly doing something else with his time. Like, he's not just clear, like tuned into the game. Like, he might be messing with his cheats. He might be doing something else. But my guess is, you guys know how it is with cheaters. We usually see them turn up their hacks to ten. Okay, nice little. He hasn't really missed a single shot in any of these engages. That's really sus. But the hacks usually get turned up to 10 when the when the game's on the line, right? So that's kind of what we're... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do we have there? What do we have there? So it looks like his safe aim, his aimbot, might have locked onto the target behind him. So he was trying to hit the Zarya. And then he headshots the bat behind the Zarya. So that's a common thing that can happen with hacks that go pixel to pixel. If your crosshair's a little off, it'll lock on the other target than the player was going on. So that's another red flag right there. We're not going to say that's for certain yet, but that's definitely super sus. He's going to two-tap the Ana as well. They're going to clean up the fight. He's got the High Noon ready. So keep that note in mind about how he headshot the Bap, who was behind the Zarya, instead of the Zarya that it seemed like he was trying to track. As that Hanzo is just going to stagger. You don't want to do that. That's not good at all. So coming in on last fight here because that Hanzo staggered. No big ults coming out for uh, Team 2, just the Dragon Strike, really, as he's going to have the High Noon ready. Maybe they just kind of troll a little bit, as he's going to be pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. Still not really missing any shots here. Kind of crazy, as he's peeking again. Still going for the Zarya. Yeah, he's cheating. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, uh, yeah. 
No way. He has no idea what he's doing on McCree, but he's going to be able to hit shots like that as the Hanzo is going to clean him up because he is out of position. Dragon Strike comes in to split their team. Looks like Team 2 is actually going to clutch because luckily, again, like you saw him at the end of the game get greedy with the potential aimbot and feed for it, right? That's a really telltale sign about cheaters. It's like in the last second of the game, like the, the pressure kicks in and they really want to use their cheats to win the game. So they'll end up doing something stupid that gives it away. It's kind of like the psychology behind a hacker like when you're hacking because that's what any human would really do right so they're gonna give up point one team two is coming in with the window the shatter team one has the grab and the window coming up as well as the grab dragon coming up as he's dude okay yeah this guy's cheating we, we, we can say this guy's cheating this guy this guy's probably cheating he's just continuously hitting headshots across the map like you don't even see that in top 500 as the zari is gonna get dinked through the dragon you know, Mickey, brand new account. We're, we're just going to start calling him a cheater, but at the end of the game, I'll, I'll give an honest review. So he's going to be flanking here, looking for targets. The Zarya is going to be coming out. This is, he doesn't even go on the high ground, and he swaps to Sigma Ryan. As he sees him walking out with threat, probably wall hacks and backs away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do they know? Okay, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he heard him over there. So he's going to be peeking this angle again. He's I don't know what he's... He doesn't have high noon, so I don't even know what he's trying to do here. He's... He's just... He, he is... Oh, he's... He's spawn camping the Junkrat? <laughs> oh my god, why? Okay, alright, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about this guy. I, like, this is just so dumb, but it's it's somehow working. Because this has got to be low ranks. So he's going to get... Wait, no chance, right? There's no way. There's no way he gets him again. Oh, oh my dude, why? Why did the Junkrat peak that twice? Is the Winston's going to jump him? He's going to... Oh, this, this is terrible pathing. Okay, yeah, so this guy's definitely cheating. That that might have been the dumbest path thing I've ever seen. Like this, so he's got insane aim in the game sense of a, of a platinum or gold player with that path thing. That, that honestly is silver. That was that was not really smart at all. So we're going to say that this guy's cheating. He's got every indication of it. So Mickey coming back to the point. Still on the McCree here, dude. This guy's a little lost. He, he does need GPS. Unfortunately, hacks do not come with GPS to help him walk around the map. Um, but oh, oh well, right? Oh well, as Team 1 is going to be able to clean this fight up, they're going to commit three ultimates, four ultimates into this fight, but no, it's, I mean, the Sig's going to commit the, the Flux, even though he's by himself. He shouldn't be able to really get anything as he's going to get whittled down by the McCree. Mickey's going to be going on the flank as Ghosty does get a big pick on the Ana. He's going to be flanking on the left side over here. Not really seen. Oh, oh, he misses the stun. Gets the heck shot. Shocker. Crazy, crazy how that works as the Hanzo is just waiting for him as he's going to try to lock on the Hanzo. Miss him. What are, you, what are you doing, Mickey? What are you doing? Is he's not going to be able to get the headshots. He's going to go down. Dude, I can't picture cheating and dying like that. Like, you should know exactly where he is. Just wait out the stun. But it's not really smart plays. We're going to head back over to the team fight here. Coming in a big anti onto the Reinhardt. Primal gets popped. Displaces him a little bit. It's going to force him out, making their team vulnerable. Unless he charges back to the cart for some reason. He should insta-die for that. But he's sleeping. Gets bubbled. Ryan is going to die, right? No, he's going to live. Wow, he's actually going to live as the Zarya is kind of feeding back there, I guess. I don't know, as the Shatter comes out. Bubbles, nice bubble he's just coming out from Grandma, but that should be enough, and they should be able to clean up this fight as Mickey's going to be coming back to the point on the Widowmaker. What do you know, guys? What do you know? It's always the Widow swap when, when shit hits the fan that these guys always have. Apparently, there's some somber gameplay in here, and that's what I really wanted to see. I wanted to see if he actually gets any value as he's going to be shooting the shoulder, soldier through the bubble a little bit there. Built 30% of the ult, and this is how we'll know if he's cheating or not. Like, this will be the big thing, even though we know he is. Yeah, look at that kind of, like, soft aim lock right on the head there. Not even a full charge shot. Doesn't have the timing down, but has the aim. Yeah. Not really going to happen there. As he's going to perfectly lock onto the IDK's head. Definitely legit players swapping over to that Widowmaker. Headshot onto the Sigma. Shield's going to come up. They got the window up. That's a risky peek as the Hanzo's flanking left. He knows exactly where the Hanzo is before he even shoots. Dragon Strike comes out, splitting the team down mid. Pretty good dragon coming out. Bap's going to go down. On is going to die there. Oh, no. Last of the Winston bubble as his aimbot's going to go to the, the Sigma instead of the Soldier. As the Soldier is just going to die. This guy's clearly walling as he's still going to go down. It's kind of crazy, though. Like, he's not, he's not taking aggressive angles with the fights that he needs to take. And if he just knows what fights to take with aimbot, he should win the fight for his team. But they're kind of falling apart as he swaps back over to the McCree. Coming on to last fight, they need to win this. They've got the Nano Visor and the Primal. As the Bap's going to go down early, Nano Monkey comes out. He should be dead here. He's going to stun him, run back inside, try to get back out. 
Monkey does have the primal, right? He's gonna be able to use that if he needs it. The visor comes out. He's gonna die. They're actually gonna be able to clutch this up, but the Sigma does go down. Grandma coming up clutch. Hanzo on the point. Ragnar kills one, two. This is kind of nuts. There's no way they win this, right? His grandma is one HP. He's in the Winston bubble. Soldier's gonna die too. They should be able to clutch this up as the Hanzo is gonna kill the Reinhardt. It's just the Winston left on the point. There's no way he clutches this up as he jumps back into the enemy team. Not very smart. Yeah. They're not gonna be able to cap this here. The big headshot comes out from the cheater. Balls touching point. I don't think a spin to win's gonna be able to do it as he's not even gonna be able to get that touch really. Gonna get slapped. Baps on the point. This one's this one's done. So, okay. Honestly, they pushed it a lot farther than they should have with a hit scan cheater on the other team. Now, I really want to see the Sombra, guys, because I've never seen Sombra aimbot. I don't think we've ever seen a pick a player pick Sombra. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. Some good old Sombra. All right. Sorry, guys. I had to send a text. We got some Raz here and some Sombra gameplay. What is he doing? Look at this kid. He's in his hack menu. He's literally in his hack menu. Oh, my God. Oh my god, is he gonna be flanking around as Samba running running to spawn now? I, I I really don't know what his objective here is. I says Ryan is gonna die. Let's see here. He's <laughs> he runs through the Okay, so he comes out of stealth and his aimbot goes to the max. Alright. Alright, so yeah, now we know he's cheating for sure. He's turned his aimbot up all the way. Gets bubbled by his Zarya inside their team. And then uses aimbot. So he's gonna be... Oh, there's nothing subtle about that. Gonna hack the Arisa. That is... Get slept! Get slept! But the Arisa's gonna die because he got hacked. He should be able to get out here. That is brutal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright, he jumps. This is like guerrilla warfare out here. Just with aimbot and Sombra. Like, I don't even know what to say. So he's gonna be... Coming out now, looking for this Hanzo. I wonder where he's gonna put the translocator. This is brutal. This, this is this is actually so infuriating. There's like an aimbotting Sombra that comes out and just jumps you out of nowhere. Like they're gonna have to make the swap to McCree. He's gonna go for this bat, probably. I'm assuming he is. No, he's actually being pretty patient here. This is kind of smart. Waits for the Ana to use her nade, which is smart. And he's gonna play his range so he's not in the stun range. So he's gonna be walking up to this Ana. I think he's waiting for his team as the Dragon Strike comes out from Team One. Or sorry, team two. They're gonna drag in the hackers team. And they're all looking for him. They know he's around here somewhere, right? Oh my god, that shot went right past his forehead, alright? The big fire strike comes out. That's when you should go. They don't have cooldowns. Big shatter comes out, and the aimbot does its thing. As he's he has no clue what he's doing with his cooldowns, though. He has literally no idea. As he probably should get punished there, but the shatter came out from Ragnar. Gonna get some big value, and he's gonna be running back to spawn to spawn camp. What are you doing, homeboy? What is that translocator? You are, you should die for that. Now let's see. He has a stun. He misses the stun and gets one clipped. All right. Well, we are in low ranks after all, so you can't really you can't really blame him for that. As the aimbot has been turned up, he's got the EMP. I'm wondering how he thinks to use it here, because this is actually gonna be pretty funny. All right, he's gonna have a translocator in a pretty good spot there. Actually, window gets popped. Ryan gets slept. He should die. This is where the EMP should come out to cancel this out, so that his Reinhardt can survive and maybe they can get back on the aggression. But they do have the grab dragon EMP. We'll, we'll see if he actually uses it here. The Moira is going to be flanking on the left. He's kind of looking for the targets here. They're going to get the cap. They're not going to get the cap. They were, they're just going to stagger on the point. They should have just fought third point there. That's not what you want to do because now, look, you're staggering all the way back to third as a grab comes out. Solo gets the Sigma. He is just AFK. He's literally not playing. All right, he doesn't. I guess he's too good to play because he. They really could have used that EMP there. He's going to be detected. The Zarya is one HP over here in the corner. He's going to get forced out by the Sigma explosives. Zarya is going to die, and they're actually going to lose this fight. That's what you get for picking daisies going through your hack menu, you dirty little cheater. And he's not even going to. He's not even going to use his translocator that he has up right now. Like he literally has a translocator in a perfect spot. He he doesn't even know to use that, right? So, you tell me. You you tell me on that one. You tell me. I mean. Listen, man, I guess he's too busy finicking with the aimbot settings to figure out how to actually play the character, you know, which turns out could be a pretty useful and legit way to actually getting good at the game. But hey, man, not for everybody, I guess. So he's going to be setting up here again. Maybe he'll use his translocator. No, he won't. I guess he doesn't like to use his translocator at all. This is this is kind of silly. All right, so he's got the EMP ready. He's going to turn the corner and pop it, probably, I think. Oh, that is so bad. He should have gotten stunned out of that as the, he's going to go right onto the Kree. Nice translocator, not really, as he's going to aimbot the Ana. Immortality field comes out. The bat pops his window for some reason, which is was just not not the answer. This is a very interesting game as the EMP. I'm, I'm shocked he didn't get slept, rocked, or stunned there, or shot by the Hanzo. Like, I feel like they had every opportunity to do it, but... Again, in lower ranks, you don't really see the, the, the cooldown usage come out like that. Is he, he is AFK again on his hack menu. I don't know what who he's looking for here. Maybe the McCree so that he can kill him before he stuns. Is the Ryan's going to charge the Ana right in front of him? He's still going to get the Kree, but he's going to get stunned and get out this time. 
Transloader load quitter comes down. He's got 40 HP left. Hanzo jumps off the map. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. He's gonna be going for the honor, but he's he hasn't even had the awareness to pick up a health pack. He missed he missed he just missed the health pack. He just missed the health pack and still got the kill. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, so the Sigma's gonna be one HP. He should die there. But wait a minute. The McCree might actually be able to get the kill here. So McCree does! And it's Tracer Kree versus the Zarya on the point. The Zarya's gonna get the Kree. Tracer just needs to stall out. The Lucio's on the point. He could have used the recall. The Zarya just get pooped off the map. No, he didn't. The Ana is now gonna be back. One by one, they stagger onto the point. And that probably is the game, right? Unless the ball boops the Hanzo off the map. They do have spawns. Reinhardt's coming back. 44% to shatter. There's no way, right? There's no way they lose this. Well, I mean, unless he doesn't run to the actual objective and the ball stalls on the point. They're actually going to be able to stall this out. The ball does die. Shatter comes out. The high noon comes out. He's going to get lasered by the invis hacking Sombra as the Ryan gets booped off the map. He's got the EMP. Uses the EMP. Lucio won. He dies to the Ana, though. We got ourselves a stalled out fight. We've got ourselves a stalled out fight, but I feel like this has got to be the end, right? Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Wow. All right. So that's Sombra aimbot, guys. Did that live up to your expectations? For me, like, that was just very weird gameplay altogether. We can definitely say that Mickey was cheating. So if you see the level 28 account named Mickey, be on the lookout. Make sure you report. He'll probably have to name change. But oh, well, that's going to do it for today, guys. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, click on screen for the previous video, and the Unranked TGM will be coming out soon. It's just been processing for four days on YouTube. So see y'all later. Peace out.